In this video, we will learn how to drive the jog operation using the keypad or terminal on IS-7. The jog operation can be transferred from the other operation depending on the operation method set using the multi-function input terminals or the keypad. Jog operation has the highest priority except for dwell operation. If a jog operation is requested while operating the multi-step, up-down, or three-wire operation modes, the jog operation overrides all other operation modes. You can set the jog operation in three ways. The first one is general jog driving. If the jog signal is input while driving at a default driving setting, it changes to jog frequency. Apply it when you use jog operation in one direction. The second one is jog operation in both the forward and the reverse direction. You can drive forward and reverse in jog operation with only a small signal. You can drive the jog operation by setting at the multi-function input terminal. This function can be applied when driving in a forward or reverse direction. The last one is the jog operation by the keypad. You can use the multi-key on the keypad for jog operation without using the multi-function terminals. When multi-key is pressed, the operation settings are changed to the keypad and the frequency command is changed to J. After the jog is set, the drive runs while pressing the forward or reverse key on the keypad. If you do not press the key, the operation will stop. Jog operation can be applied when a change in speed is required at a certain interval. For example, if you need to change the speed in order to perform an inspection on an operating facility, you can simply change it to the desired speed using jog operation. Let's set the function of normal jog operation. Set the default driving settings in the DRV group. Then set the operation command to terminal operation and the frequency command to the voltage command. Set the frequency and the jog acceleration time in the jog setting. Select one of the multi-function terminals to set the jog command and set it to the jog. Next, let's set up the function of the jog operation in both the forward and reverse directions. Set the default driving settings in the DRV group. Let's set the operating command to the terminal operation and the frequency command to the current input. Set the frequency and the jog acceleration and deceleration time in the jog setting. Jog commands require a forward and reverse setting. Select two of the multi-function terminals to set to forward and reverse jog. In this video, we'll set the P7 terminal to the forward jog and the P8 terminal to the reverse jog. Finally, let's set the function of jog operation using the keypad. Set the default driving settings in the DRV group. The operation command is set to terminal operation and the frequency command to the current input. Set the frequency and the jog acceleration and deceleration time in the jog setting. Set the jog command using the multi-key of the keypad. Press the mode key to enter CNF mode. You can set jog in the CNF42 multi-key selection. If you press the multi-key of the keypad during normal operation, the multi-function indicator changes to J and changes to the jog operation mode. I'll try to drive a normal jog operation. Set the jog operation frequency to 20 Hz 
and then set the multi-function input terminal P8 to jog. The frequency command of the primary operation is set to V1. Perform normal operation by turning the P1 terminal on. The V1 voltage will operate at set value. When you turn on the multi-function terminal P8, the multi-function indicator on keypad changes to J, which changes the operation to a jog frequency set. We currently set the jog frequency to 20 Hz, so we're driving at 20 Hz. Turning off the P8 terminal goes back to the default operation. Next, I'll try to drive the forward reverse jog operation. Set the jog operation frequency to 20 Hz. Set the multifunction input terminal P7 to forward jog and set P8 to reverse jog. The frequency command of the primary operation is set to V1 voltage. Perform primary operation by turning the P1 terminal on. The V1 voltage will operate at set value. When the multifunction terminal P7 is turned on, the multifunction indicator on the keypad changes to J, which causes forward operation at the set jog frequency. If you turn off the multifunction terminal P7 and turn on the P8, you reverse the operation at the set jog frequency. Turning off the P8 terminal goes back to the primary operation. The last one is the jog operation by the keypad. If the multi-key is pressed while driving the default, the multi-function indicator changes from N to J and changes to the jog operation mode. To drive at a set jog speed, only drive when the forward or reverse key is pressed after the jog are set. If you release the key before reaching the jog target frequency, the operation will be stopped. We've learned jog operation on IS-7.